When I was in the alt-right after doing the sort of atrocious stuff that I used to do back then, some people kept telling me the suggestion that I should rebrand as if all I had to do to clean my ugly reputation was to change name and persona and that's just about it. Pretend to be a completely different person doing different things without changing a single bit about your personality or your ideas. This is a naive piece of advice because it seems clearly evident that a lot of people don't understand rebranding or the very concept of rebranding as a whole or even the idea behind it. To rebrand means to change your whole public image to something new and it isn't limited to a simple name change or anything similar. Everything about presenting yourself to your audience has to change. The problem is, however, that what people don't understand about rebranding here is that in order to change your outside public image, something in your personality, core values, philosophy, or ideas has to change drastically enough to reflect that in your public image. This is an important piece of marketing 101 that a lot of people online tend to ignore because they mostly think of rebranding as a way of magically wiping out your past doings or even wrongdoings and pretend to be a completely different person. Basically the same wolf in different clothing. An exemplary case of someone obviously getting this wrong is Jim Somerton, who came under scrutiny for plagiarizing a lot of videos and basically stealing content as evidenced by H Bomber Guy's video. What people pointed out on the H Bomber Guy subreddit was that after Somerton's Twitter account vanished, it came back up, except with a changing name and branding, as if it was a completely different person. Yet he keeps the same followers as he had when he was Jim Somerton on Twitter. Jim Somerton thinks he were freaking stupid enough to not be able to tell it's still him and that he has the same literal intentions. That what he did here was basically change his facade to a different persona, just so that in his future videos he will pretend it's not him by just using an AI voice instead of his own to keep plagiarizing and stealing content just like he did before. A lot of scummy YouTubers or content creators like to, like Summerton just want to sweep under the rug their bad reputation under a new persona just so they can trick you into ignoring what they did before. What they don't understand, however, is that and this is another core problem with this sort of lazy rebranding, is that eventually some people will find out who you were if you're still the same literal person with a different name. And believe me, People will find out eventually like that if you're the same little piece of crap that you used to be even under a different brand or name. Britbomb, for instance, no matter if he now calls himself Mr. BTFO or Neat Last Matter or whatever he wants to go himself by, is still the same piece of crap Britbong that he was before, that he is currently and it will be in the future because nothing in his crappy personality will change at this point and he will still be an asshole. He just does this for people to ignore his past and keep getting away with the same consequences. If I were to remain in the alt-right for instance and all I did was change my name and persona, people will still eventually figure out who I still am despite my different appearance because I will still commit the same horrible acts that I will have used to do. However, I left the alt-right, I changed my personality and I've grown as a person, enough to change my views and my core values, so I get the rebranding right by reflecting that through a little change in our channel logo or my own online persona. And it makes sense, because this is the actual way you do rebranding. The company I work at had to do a rebranding because it not only had to tidy up the organization, but it also had to change its core values so that changing the logo somewhat reflects that. In business, that's how rebranding actually works. It has to reflect an actual change of in your ideas, personality, or core values throughout the public image. We live in a time period where YouTubers and content creators have to do the least amount of effort possible to try and get away with their own controversial actions, so they slap together lazy apology videos which in the end only serve to try to trick you into regaining your sympathy towards them or just ignore their shitty actions and move along. They are a way to lazily clean up your PR. It's no wonder why people like James Summerton and this sort of do rebrandings like these, even though they haven't changed their wrongdoing a bit. And it's really telling, if, if Summerton was really a marketing expert as he claims to be, he's really doing a shitty job at it, because if it wasn't, if it, uh, that wasn't the case, he'd understand that's not how rebranding works. 
I hope that with this video you learned a lesson or two about how rebranding works. My main point is I would rather maintain my current public name online and redeem myself as a better person than just putting on a new facade through some lazy rebranding even though I would be the same little piece of garbage. There's a key important difference between keeping the same persona but doing the most to change the way of being and changing your mask being the same literal person that you used to be before. Actions speak louder than words and definitely actions speak louder than public image.